Hello mga kaagham, tayo ay nasa huling tatlong linggo na ng ating science lesson sa quarter 2. Ito ang protection of tropical rainforest, coral reef, and mangrove swamp. Once again, ito si Teacher Neri. Huwag kalimutang mag-like at mag-subscribe. So as we go along through this lesson, we should be able to answer the following questions. What are the physical conditions of tropical rainforest? coral reef, and mangrove swamp. Why do we need to protect and conserve them? And how can we protect them? So about the ecosystem, it is a biological community of interacting organisms and their physical environment. In short, it is a place where plants, animals, and other living things interact with non-living things within the community. So, napag-aralan na natin ang tatlong klase ng ecosystem noong nakaraan. Ang una rito ay ang tropical rainforest na nahahati sa apat na layer. Ito ang canopy, sub-canopy, understory, at ang huli ay ang forest floor. Ang ikalawa naman ay ang coral reef na may tatlong uri. Ito ang fringing reef, barrier reef, at ang panghuli ay ang atolls. At ang panghuli ay ang mangrove swamp o mas kilala sa tawag na bakawan. Ito ay karaniwan na nasa mababaw na bahagi ng mga karagatan. Yan, yan yung mga punong may mahahaba, matutulis, at matitibay na ugat. So, yan sila. So, ano ba ang components ng ecosystem na pag-aralan natin may dalawa? Ito ang biotic at ang abiotic. So, biotic refers to all the living things in the ecosystem. So, alam nyo na yan. Abiotic refers to all the non-living things or the physical components of the ecosystem. Elaborate pa natin ng mas mabuti. Halimbawa, biotic. Ito ay ang plants, animals, at mga decomposers. Decomposers ay binubuo ng mga bacteria, fungus, and molds na nanginginain ng mga nabubulok na organism. Ang ikalawa ay ang abiotic. Ito yung physical uh, component ng ecosystem. Soil. Ano man uri yan. Ito ba'y sand, low, mud, clay, basta soil, abiotic. Temperature and humidity. Water and its condition. Ito ba ay fresh water or tubig tabang or ito ba ay tubig alat. So, salinity, no? And next is the sunlight, the presence of sunlight. The rocks, the stones, and other things that are non-living things in the ecosystem are abiotic. And, ano-ano ba yung mga relationship in the ecosystem? So, we have parasitism, mutualism, commensalism, predation, and competition. Yan yung limang relationship ng mga organisms sa ecosystem. Halimbawa ng mga nasa larawan, yung kuto na nakatira sa ulo ng isang tao, no? So, yung kuto ay parasite, yung tao na tinitirahan niya ay host. Ang relationship na meron sila ay parasitism. Next is commensalism, yung orchid na nakadikit doon sa puno ay nakikinabang sa puno. Yung puno naman ay hindi affected at the same time wala din siyang pakinabang. So, ang relationship na meron sila ay commensalism. The next one is the butterfly sipping nectar from the flower. So, nakikinabang yung butterfly sa flower kasi the flower provides food to the butterfly and at the same time, yung flower nakikinabang din sa butterfly because the butterfly helps pollinate the flower. The relationship that they have is mutualism. And the fourth one is the predation wherein the bigger animal feed on a smaller and weaker animal, like the one in the picture, yung tiger, kinain niya yung mas maliit na hayop, yung deer. And the last one is the competition, wherein the organism is comp competing for food, nutrients, and space doon sa lugar na yon. Yung mga pechay, nag-aagawan sila ng sustansya doon sa lupa na pinagtaniman sa kanila. Ganon din yung mga isda sa aquarium. They compete for food uh, and also space in the aquarium. So, competition yun. Alright. 
So, ano ba yung benefits or importance of tropical rainforest? So, pag sinabi nating benefits, ito yung mga kahalagahan. The benefits that we get or the importance of this uh, ecosystem will answer the question, why do we need to protect them? So, yung kahalagahan na nakukuha natin sa mga ito ang dahilan kung bakit kailangan natin silang protektahan. Rainforests are often called the lungs of the planet for their role in absorbing the carbon dioxide or a greenhouse gas and increasing the local humidity. So, may kakayahan ng mga rainforest na mag-absorb ng carbon dioxide sa ating surrounding. They also stabilize the climate. Uh, they are also house incredible amount of plants and wildlife and produce the nourishing rainfall all around the planet. They make much of the oxygen humans and animals depend on. So, sila yung supplier natin ng oxygen. Without them, there would be less air to breathe. Rainforests also help maintain Earth's climate, by taking in carbon dioxide, they help to reduce the greenhouse effect. They help stabilize the world's climate, provide a home to many plants and animals, and maintain the water cycle, protects against flood, drought, and erosion. So they are also a source of medicine and food and support the tribal people. They are also an interesting place to visit. So, yan. Yan yung mga importance niya. Maganda rin namang mamasyal sa mga rainforest o tropical rainforest. So, nagbibigay din sila ng mga medicinal plant that can be, uh, that, that can cure our diseases. Next is the coral reef. Coral system or coral ecosystems are the source of food for millions. They protect the coastline from storms and erosion. They provide habitat, spawning, and nursery ground for economically important fish species. So, in short, nagbibigay ito ng uh, trabaho, income sa ating mga lokal na pamayanan, lalong-lalo na yung mga malapit sa dagat. Ganun din, uh, libangan, o turismo, ayan, medicine. May mga paraan para ma mapangalagaan sila. We must discourage people from collecting corals for ornamental purposes and also discourage them to do illegal dynamite fishing and the dumping of garbage into the sea. Kasi mahalaga, par mahalaga sila. And the third one is the mangrove swamp. They are the first line of defense for coastal communities. They stabilize shoreline by slowing erosion and provide a natural barrier protecting the coastal communities from the increased storm surge. So, ibig sabihin, bago tayo masalanta ng mga malalakas o malalaking alon tuwing may bagyo, eh, may, may mga mangrove swamp na magpo-protect sa atin. And also, a mangrove forest are home to a large variety of fish, crab, shrimp, and mollusk species. So, yan. Diyan natin nakukuha yung mga shell food na uh, nakikita natin sa mga palengke. Pineprevent din niya ang erosion, no? Yung mga damages na nagagawa sa atin ng malalaking alon. Okay. Next, protection and conservation of tropical rainforest, coral reef, and mangrove swamp. Pinagsama-sama ko na para mas madali yung maintindihan. Sabi dyan, Plant more trees, save water, use eco-friendly product instead of plastic straw. O mas magandang huwag na tayo gumamit ng straw. O kaya yung straw made of paper na lang. Start composting. Yan, instead na tapon tayo ng tapon, i-compost natin yung mga basura. Do not support illegal logging. Do not support hunting exotic animals for pets. Proper waste disposal. Discourage people from collecting corals uh, as a home decoration and practice the three R's, the reduce, reuse, and recycle. So, those are the ways that we can do to help protect and conserve our ecosystem. Alright, can you do this? I provided the 
brief description for the rainforest layer. So, yung canopy is the topmost layer composed of the tallest tree in the forest. Subcanopy is the layer of trees below the canopy, mas maliit ng konti. Understory is the shady part where young trees and non-woody plants grow. And the forest floor is the thin layer of fallen leaves and branches as well as grasses. Alright, next is the types of coral reef. So, we have fringing reef. This is the underwater stands for living coral close to the shore, malapit sa dalampasigan. The barrier reef naman is a car further up shore and separated by a lagoon. Medyo malayo ng konti at sineseparate siya ng lagoon. And the third one is the atoll. It is the circular reef system that is found on a large lagoon or deep lagoon. At yung last, yung mangrove swamp, these are the trees that grow along the coast or shallow water. Alright, next. So, think about this. What are the living and non-living things in the tropical rainforest? I provided the answer for you for the tropical rainforest and coral reef. Kayo naman ang mag-isip sa mangrove swamp. So, the living things in the rainforest are trees, grasses, shrubs, and all the animals. Yung non-living things naman dito ay mga soil, rocks, temperature, sunlight, and water. May iba pa ba kayang naiisip? So, pwede rin yun. The biotic component of the coral reef are the fishes, squid, octopus, and other aquatic plants. While the abiotic components are the water, water current, and salinity. That's it. So, tingnan natin. Explain the interaction among living things in the ecosystem. So, plants such as trees, shrubs, and grasses are called producer. They provide food to the animals' consumers, while animal releases carbon dioxide needed by the plants in making food. They have a symbiotic relationship that maintains the balance in the ecosystem. Ayan. Hindi pwedeng mas marami ang plants kasi hindi siya magiging balance. Eh. Hindi rin pwedeng mas marami ang animals kasi hindi siya magiging balance. Eh. Kailangan tama sakto lang para balance. Okay. So, ayan. Corals are living organism? True. Ecosystem can be destroyed by human activities? True. Mangroves, coral reef, and rainforest are examples of ecosystem? So true. Destroying the ecosystem can harm human and other forms of organism? So true. And if there were no mangrove forest, the sea will have no meaning. So, true. So, yan siya. Lahat true. Okay. So, coral reef are endangered by? Correct answer is letter D. All of the above. A coral reef provides? Correct answer is letter A. Food and shelter. What does endangered mean? So, wala dyan yung tamang sagot. The correct answer is close to extinction o malapit ng mawala. No longer existing as an animal species is letter B, extinct. And number five, which of the following is a threat to coral reef? The correct answer is letter D. Alright. So, complete the paragraph below. Choose your answer from the box. Ang dali lang, di ba? Rainforests are often called the lungs of the planet for their role in absorbing the carbon dioxide. They help stabilize the world's climate. And they are a source for medicine and food. Oh, diba? So, once again, learning is fun and easy with Teacher Neri. Goodbye!